Today we are joined as a family to celebrate our schools. This week is full of lots of special events. We have engaged in dress up days, poetry contests, bingo, and many out other out of the ordinary activities. This morning, we are gathered to celebrate the most important part of the week, our Catholic Schools Week Mass. We are blessed to have Bishop Fold as our celebrant today. We are blessed to have many priests and sisters with us today. We are blessed to be joined by our friends from St. Joseph's School today. We are blessed to be joined by, our many, by many of our parents and family members. Now it is time we need to give thanks for all the blessings that make our schools rich and full of life. From our activities and sports to our academic endeavors and our day-to-day -day interactions with friends, we are a community inspiring excellence through faith, learning, and service. So much. What a great blessing that was. But it is. 
And I hope you realize that too. You know, not everybody is as fortunate as we are. Not everybody has this opportunity. Believe it or not, in fact, some people your age around the world, not only do they not have this gift of Catholic education, but they don't even have the freedom to practice their faith. But okay, we've been given this gift. Now, what do we do with it? How do we respond to this awesome blessing? How can we make a return to God for the generosity that He shown us? Well, as always, Jesus gives us the answer in the gospel we just heard. He says, a lamp is not meant to be hidden. It's not meant to be covered up. A lamp needs to be set in a place where it can be seen. Believe me, it is a treasure that we have. If I had a choice of giving each one of you a million dollars right now, or the gift of faith, I would give you the gift of faith because a million dollars would disappear. We could spend it like that. But your gift of faith, that will be with you forever. So as we celebrate this Catholic Schools Week, let's thank God from the bottom of our hearts and at the top of our voices for this great, great gift, not only of our faith, but also of our Catholic education. And let's thank God for those who have helped us to receive this gift. Our families, our teachers, everyone who supports our schools, our pastors, because they support us too. We're blessed to have them. And finally, let's promise our Lord that we're going to live that faith and share it with others. We're not going to cover up our light going to let it shine for all the world to see. God has been generous to us, so now let's be generous to others. For the needs of our communities, food for the hungry, shelter for the homeless, comfort for those who mourn, friendship for the lonely, may we grow in our awareness of their needs and respond with God's own grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you to help us as we continue to learn and to know your Son more deeply and to share that gift with others. We ask all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
class. And in fact, I am absolutely sure that in this gym today, there are young men and young women who have a call from God to be a priest or to be a religious sister or brother. I'm sure of it. And I hope that you will be open to that call. And I would just ask you to be courageous and say a prayer to God that he will lead you to the vocation, the calling, the life that he has planned for you. And that you'll have the courage to live it. Whether that's as a married person, as a single person, or as a priest or a religious brother or sister. I guarantee you that if you say yes to God's call, whatever it is, you'll be the happiest person around. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.